Militants killed between 100 and 300 people in this August 24th attack on a town in northern Burkina Faso. It was one of the deadliest in the Sahel by groups linked to the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. It came the same week a group of Russian mercenaries known as the Bear Brigade announced a partial withdrawal from the West African country to help counter Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk region. One expert told VOA the mercenaries had been assisting with personal security for Burkina Faso's military leader, Captain Ibrahim Traore, and government officials. Their withdrawal raises a lot of questions about what will happen to the security of these Burkina Bay officials, who, it must be said, are facing a number of challenges. Since September last year, Traore has fended off two attempted coups, according to authorities. He came to power in a 2022 coup himself, claiming the previous military junta had failed to turn the tide in the country's war against Islamic militants. He also ended military cooperation with France and left the regional political bloc ECOWAS, enlisting the help of Russian mercenaries to aid in the war effort instead. Russian intervention has not stemmed the rise of Islamic terrorist groups in the Sahel, but Ian says. It's true that the situation today continues to be bad, since the Burkina Bay army is being pushed out of large swaths of land in many parts of the country, with the rise in power of JNIM and ISIS. In recent years, Russia has also sent mercenaries to Mali and Niger. Deaths from conflict have increased by 26% in the three countries in the last year data from the non-profit Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project show. Henry Wilkins, VOA News.